Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a weekly tarot reading from my Gemini for the week starting May 30th, 2016. And if you'd like to have a private reading from me, you can send me an email at gigiweetarot at gmail.com. You can also subscribe to my channel. I would be very appreciative. Thank you for those who subscribed already and welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your private messages, your Google Pluses. It truly means a lot to me. I also posted below the video where you could find me on social media as well. And now my Gemini, on to your reading. I want you to know that prior to recording your reading, I meditate and ask spirit for guidance, and I shuffle the cards as well. So let's see what we have for you in the past position this week. We have the Six of Rods. You have arrived after some struggle. Some of you will be celebrating their birthday this week. Happy birthday, my Gemini. It will be a great, great year. So the Six of Rods comes after the Five of Rods, which is, you know, it's, you know, arguments, disagreement, and some type of um, hostility, if I could say this. And now you are on top of your game, and you're on a horse. So some of you may be planning to leave or to go to some type of destination. We'll have to see the other cards to see what Spirit is trying to say. But the Six of Rods represent victory, okay? Um, victory after, like I said, some type of difficult time, okay? Now... Things are behind you. You're moving forward bigger and stronger than before. So I'm very happy to see this energy for you, my Gemini. And let's see what we have in the position of the near past, the world. Okay, there's a lot of things that are shaping into your life. This is a very important card. It's a major arcana. It represents completion, completion of a cycle. Okay, there will be a new moon in your sign. Okay. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's this week or at the end of the week, my Gemini, but the next new moon is on you. It's on your side. It's in your sign, I should say. Okay. So when we have a new moon, it's a new energy. It's the beginning of a new cycle. Okay. Here you have completed things, you know, that could be related to school. Maybe some of you have ended a semester or have graduated. Some of you have ended a training and have graduated, some of you have, uh, you know, been able to fight some type of condition or disease or physical issues, and now you have, you're able to go forward and, you know, in good health, you know, there was some difficult time for some of my Gemini did some reading, and I'm so happy to see this card because now, because Gemini, the truth is, the third house represents strength, courage. And Gemini is the, you know, Gemini is the sign of the third house. So you have a lot of strength, a lot of courage. And that's what I like with Gemini. They stand for what they, for what they believe. And they are who they are. They assume themselves. Okay, no apology. And it's great to see this energy because here Spirit is telling you that, okay, you have completed those obstacles. Better time ahead. Okay, great energy. And let's see what we have in the position of the future this week. We have the Ten of Pentacles. So financial security is coming along with that. I mean, we know that right now there's a lot of energy on you. We have the sun, of course. And I always say that the, friend, you know, the best friend of the sun is, um, is Gemini. Okay? Because the sun represents Leo. Okay? And, you know, Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. It, you know, it's not going as fast, but it follows the sun. Okay, it's the fastest planet that follows the sun. So you have this great energy right now. You're home. Okay, and Venus is in your sign. Whenever we have Venus in our sign, she always brings us some type of gift. Okay, and gift, Venus represents money, value, things that we enjoy. Okay, luxury. So here you should know that having the Ten of Pentacles in the future position denotes that there's some financial gain coming to you. Maybe a bonus if you, uh, if you have been working very hard now. Maybe 
your boss will, you know, suggest a promotion or if there's a promotion uh, and then you're interested in going forward, go forward because having this, it's in the future, okay? So there will be security in your finances, okay? And also, like I said, um, you know, whenever we have Venus in our sign, she bring us something. So for those that are, have a business or work with contract, maybe contracts are coming your way, but security, that's what the Ten of Pentacles mean, it's security, okay? Security in, in, in a fair of, of finances, but also health, okay? Pentacles also on a certain, a certain level represent health, good health, okay? So if you haven't feeling good physically or you haven't feeling weak in the future, you have the Ten of Pentacles. So now that your energy is up and you have so much, uh, you know, positivity around you, the sun is in Gemini. So don't waste any time, Gemini. Go forward. Here you have the Six of Rods telling you to go forward, to walk in the direction of your desire, okay? And let's see what we have in the position of the outcome this week. The Page of Cups, interesting. Okay, Page of Cups, you know, Pages is always about um, something that we gain, but also messages coming from spirit. It could be some coming from someone younger, if, if we look at it on a literal descriptive, but it could also be that there's a message that you're, you're going to receive. Maybe, you know, someone else in your life that's been looking at you. It's going to let you know, well, listen, you know, I've been noticing that you have improved or you'll be receiving different messages from people, messages of love, encouragement. People will encourage you. And I hope I say this properly. Encouragement. They will encourage you. Okay. They will um, let you know that um, they have been looking at you. You inspire other people uh, because, yes, Gemini is a third house. The third house is the house of courage, it's the house of strength. So whenever we see someone going through some type of difficulty but remaining the same or remaining, um, you know, always um, honest with themselves, that's how I see Gemini, you know, that they are who they are, no apologies, and love me or leave me, okay? It's, 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 it's very inspiring to other people, especially in this type of, uh, in the world that we live in, to see someone who's able to just stand alone or stand with other people. Regardless, they will feel fulfilled. So it's a great energy for you, my Gemini. For those that are celebrating your birthday this week, it will be a great week. I'm very happy to see this energy. You know, things are changing, Gemini. Things are going better, okay? We now have Saturn retrograde, which is good because Saturn in our seventh house, which is in Sagittarius, it's giving us a lot of issues sometimes. Issues could be related to relationship, business, things of that nature, which is what the seventh house represents. And here, with the retrograde, you're not wasting any time. You're seeing, you're feeling that the energy are changing. You made some decision as well. I think that's really uh, the reason where you are, where you are right now. You made the decision, or you changed vision or direction, and now you're bringing already uh, some fruits. You're bringing a lot of uh, wealth towards uh, towards you and the universe is on your side okay especially right now with the sun in gemini and venus is there as well very soon your ruler mercury will go as well in your sign okay so i'm going to end this reading here for you my gemini let me know how this resonated with you leave me comments until next week send you lots of kisses i love you